Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, wasting money in Magic the Gathering. And the reason I want to talk about this is I want to make a week's worth of videos saving money, spending money wisely, etc, etc. Same idea, but different. But instead of like a 15 minute video, I'm just going to split it into 8 to 10 minute videos, which is long enough, right? Uh, when you're trying to, uh, when you're not, when you're wasting money on Magic, this is what happens a lot of the times. Is Star City Games will, or somebody, Channel 5 will, anybody who has a large amount of cards they need to sell, TCG player, I get emails from them all, all the time. Hey, there's this new hot deck out there. And I, a lot of times the deck is kind of crappy. It's like a reanimated deck. Um, it's like some weird combo deck. It's a deck that I would never play or buy. But a lot of people get excited by this deck. And then all of a sudden the prices go up tremendously and then the cards that this deck relies on goes up and people are buying this deck. That is the number one way to waste money in Magic is buying a deck that is not good that's being hyped up. Now I'm going to take an example from Star City Games. So there's a deck that they did an interview on and it's not like a terribly good deck. It, I don't know why they did a deck tech on the deck because it finished in like 200th place, right? So it's like, well, how many people were at the event to begin with? Uh, but they did, it was a very creative, very rogue deck with expensive elements in the deck. So it was four colors, it was reanimator, it was a fun deck, it had looked really fun to play with, but again, it finished 200, like 198th. And they were promoting it as like this really, really strong, powerful deck. Um, yeah, so that happens a lot where you have a deck that is not super good, uh, meaning it doesn't win very much, and it's being promoted as if it is going to win a ton. So, and this deck is better because it's more fun, it's new, and it inspires people to go out and buy the deck. And if you are a Channel Fireball, or you're a Star City Games, or you're a TCG player, you are incentivized to promote these random decks with expensive pieces. So I'm not saying like a rogue budget deck. I'm saying like decks that are very expensive. Five color, four color decks, uh, tri color decks where, where you need the land, you need the mana base. Oh, and by the way, there's a link here that you can click on to automatically buy the deck. Uh, it happens a lot. That is the easiest way to burn your money the fastest is for you to buy a deck that is, in, is not good to begin with and once you're done playing with it and once it becomes like really boring to reanimate your creatures, you're going to be like, oh, well, this deck does not transition into any other deck. So when you buy, when you waste money on staple, like non-staples, so if you're going to buy a place of Heroes Downfall when the set first release, you had that playset to play with for a long time. It had tremendous value to you should you ever be in black and you could have traded it out at any point. But if you're playing a reanimated deck, it is highly unlikely those parts are can be translated into another deck. So if you're playing um, a, if you're playing the Fetch Land, if you have Fetch Lands, they can translate into other decks and they can translate not only into other decks, but into other formats. So you have tremendous value in getting playsets of those. But you don't have any value in buying a reanimator deck where what's that going to translate into once the cards rotate out? I don't know, like, I, I can't think of any. Uh, reanim I mean, reanimator is not good right now. Why should it be good after the cards rotate out? So that's a big no-no for me is buying whatever hot deck is around. Uh, the second big no-no is speculating on cards. So whenever you hear news about a card being good or bad, well, let's say being good, the boat has already sailed. Um, the news is already late. Uh, in the age of the internet, especially in buyout, it takes one person to buy out TCG Player or Channel Fireball or any of those stores. It's just one person. And that's all it takes. By the time you hear the news of, oh, X card is a great card, the card, if it really was that great and people did expect the price to go up a ton, 
has already been spiked and it's too late and you're going to be the one holding the bag of magic cards that cannot be removed anywhere. So that's one of my greatest uh, warnings to you um, is don't don't give in to the hype of either the new deck or the new card being purchased. Um, you have to buy staples and staples are very easy to identify. Thought Seize is a staple, Siege Rhino is a staple, um, Thunderbreak Regent is going to be a staple. The Storm Breath Dragons a staple that you know I still have. I mean the Storm Breath Dragons I've had I played so many times and just smashed face with them so many times. I mean I've gotten the value even if they plummet to no money, which is going to happen soon. I've gotten the value from them. So staples are very easy to identify, um, but do not buy non-staples unless they are like. A one or two of in a deck but don't go ahead and buy an entire uh, deck that's like five color reanimator chromanticore and at the time you know spiking and a chromanticore spiking at the price in the time I don't know I mean there's a lot of random scenarios where you could be wasting money uh, and when you waste money on cards that are not staples they're just not useful um, and I'll honestly tell you that is the worst way to build a magic collection is to buy the newest deck out there or buy the newest spike card because if that card already spiked you're already too late and if that deck is really 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 that good then honestly it should be able to transition into another deck you should have the components of it it shouldn't be some random deck with 60 totally new cards minus the fest lands and the course of crew fix and all that stuff i mean when I look at some of these decks that are being promoted, I look at it and say, huh, this deck has no chance of winning, like at a high level, <laughs> like none at all. Um, but at the same time, they are more fun decks to play with, and I understand that concept. I'm just making this video about how not to waste money or the fastest way to waste money on Magic the Gathering. Bye, guys.